weighted mean. You may have seen a contest such as the Binibining Pilipinas, and you may have seen this during the competition. Someone will announce the criteria for judging. Look at that beauty of face, beauty of figure, intelligence, poise, and personality. And not only that, the announcer will also announce the weights of this criterion. For beauty of the face, it's 50%. For beauty of the figure, it's 30%. Intelligence, 10%. And poise and personality is 10%. What the announcer did was to describe to you the criteria for judging and the weights of each of those criterion. You may have participated in a drama contest wherein your class is divided into different teams. Each team will present a drama and your teacher will announce or had announced the criteria for judging your presentation. And these are the criteria and these are the corresponding weights. This one is a scorecard for evaluating the performance of, of an agency. So a company hired an agency to do some jobs for them. And these are the criteria for evaluating their performance. These are the weights of each of those criterion. And, and these are their scores in each of these criterion. So what is the weighted mean? So all of that have to do with weighted mean. What is the weighted mean or also called the weighted average? The weighted mean of n values x sub 1, x sub 2 to x sub n with corresponding weights w sub 1, w sub 2 to w sub n is we studied math symbols at the beginning of this course. And so I hope that you are not surprised and no longer overwhelmed when you see a notation such as this. So what that means is we will get the product of x sub 1 or x sub i times w sub i. We will get their sums and we will divide the result by the sum of all the weights. So... So we are multiplying the scores or the values x sub i with its corresponding weight. And then we will get their sum. And then after that, we will divide it by the sum of all the weights. Let us go back to this scorecard. So this is the result of the scorecards when a company evaluated the performance of an agency. So these are the criteria for evaluating the performance of an agency. These are the weights of each of those criterion and these are the scores. So what then is the weighted score of this agency in terms of performance? So what we do is we implement our formula to get the weighted mean. 10 times 0 0.05. What is 10 here? 10 is x sub 1, the score. What is 0 0.05? 0 0.05 is the weight of this criteria. Maintains and tracks organizational ownership, chart, and employees by location. So the weight of this criterion is 5%. That's why... 10 x sub 1 times w sub 1, which is 0 0.05. With the second criterion, the score of the agency is 9. That's x sub 2 times the weight of this criterion, which is 20% or 0 0.2. So you will do it for all the scores. And then you, you will get the sum. The sum is 6.8. The sum of all of this is 6.8. And then you will divide it by the sum of all the weights. So if you were to get the sum of all of these weights, they all add up to 100% or that is 1. And so the weighted score 
of this agency in terms of performance is 6.8. How about computing for the general weighted average? At the end of each semester, you will receive a report from your school showing your grades and the subjects that you took for the semester. And the report might look something like this. You have the subjects, the units, and these are the grades. So how do we compute for the general weighted average or general weighted mean? We do this. The summation of x sub i times w sub i all over the summation of all the weights. So your x sub i here are your grades. 1.75, 1.5, 1, 1, and 1.75. What do we do? We multiply each of them to the corresponding weights of the subject. So for math in the modern world, your grade is 1.75. That is your x sub 1 times the weight of that subject, which is a 3. So 1.75 times 3, that's 5.25. For ethics, your grade is 1.5. That's your x sub 2. You multiply it by the weight of ethics, which is 3 units again. 1.5 times 3 is 4.5. You will do this for all the subjects. And then you will get the sum. That is the meaning of that summation of x sub i times w sub i. You will obtain the sum of all these numbers in this column. And the sum is 22. Now, how about the denominator? Summation of w sub i. That's the sum of all the units. It's equal to 16. So what is your GWA, your general weighted average, also your general weighted mean? The general weighted mean of your grades, it's going to be 22 over 16 or 1.375.